You mean we didn't get the Clydesdales on? <laughs> Clydesdales. All right, start over. Cut. Back. <laughs> Done. <laughs> But so for those of you that are keeping score at home, how many of you have your paper document, the roadmap to make wealth real? Everybody got it? So this yes. is our culture. It's four pages. Now, here, here's the brilliant thing about the document. Four pages in, I mean, five pages total, four pages in rotation that you'll use to track as you build your business and yourself. Does that make sense? So our system is still the same. What is the system? Start share, and say. But as we start, one of the things that we want to help people get much better at doing is starting the right way. And one of the most important things to being started the right way is starting with knowing. So I'm on page one. And I want you to fill this out as we go if you haven't filled it out already. Like if this is a hot new sheet for you, write your website up there. Because the most frustrating thing is to be ready to text somebody to get started link. And it says, see your lifestyle consultant. How many of you know that means you? <laughs> right. So put that in and make sure that your sponsor has that so that when people are ready to get started with you, they can shoot them what you need. But if we embrace the formula from the beginning, because here's our goal, just to build the biggest team with the biggest checks being the root of the system, knowing that this formula will, will always be true. It's E plus E plus E minus E minus E equals E. Now, ironically, that equation is correct. Sean, as a, as a math teacher, you'll say 3E minus 2E equals E. That's, that's true in algebra. <laughs> but in real life, exposure plus education plus execution minus explanations wow. minus emotions equals enrollment. One of the things that with this system has been- My hand, that's that, right there. Just to get into it. Just for sure. It sounds like somebody's going for a touchdown right there. Hey, I'm shoot. my end. I'm just waiting for you to tell me that you got it on your end. Okay, I don't have a volume. That's Earl. All right. Get you. I'm just thinking. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> that's on the recording. That's there forever. Right. That's Patricia and Harold forever. I snitch. <laughs> but here, here's what I want you to understand. If you embrace a formula that our job in this business, number one job is exposure. One of the things that some of the en enhancements that we're going to talk about increase our ability to secure the exposure just to get people out of their own way, have other people see it without the explanation. Two is education, just learning, having your financial education in place and executing <laughs> on the MWR system. Now, if we do those things without, write, write this down, say this out loud, my job is not to explain. Explanation my job is not to explain. Different things. <laughs> but if you just get good at inviting and exposing, and one of the, another thing that we'll be able to do is remove hey. the emotions because we know the numbers. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. So the main thing I ask people up front, because your business begins in your mind, yes or yes? Yes. Yes. And here's Absolutely. something we found previously, is we had a statement across the top of our business plan that said, I'm willing to build my business to X dollars to make it worthwhile. But Sean, you know what I would encounter the most often when having a new person get started? What's that? They would write down, I don't know. And I don't know is easy to hit because it's also yeah. equivalent to zero. Right. But so not just the amount. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to back into why we're really building a business together. Why? W-H-Y. What has you? What's the thing that you want to do that your job won't let you do? Make sure that that's clear to you and the people that are building business with you. And then ask yourself how much that costs. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the most yeah. important part. Like we could actually, all the business gets simple. What is easy when why is clear? So make sure that you got your, your why written down and put a dollar amount on it so that as we're building, we know where we need to get to to make that thing happen. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now the rest of it is just filling in the blanks and checking the box. Everybody say check the box. 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 Once you know why, 
you know the increments of things that have to happen. So short term, we're focused on building five QFDs in your first seven to 10 days. Just identify five to 10 people that will get started with you in business. That'll get you to $150 a month. Let's say this, securely. Securely. Because there's Secure. nothing like having achieved daily pay and then having that one day at five where no text comes. <laughs> so make room for quitters quit. So five, 15, 50. Write those numbers down. Keep those in your mind. Have that playing through your soundtrack. Five, 15, 50. Five QFDs. Secures $150 a month, $15, $600 a month, $50, $2,000 a month. Now, am I saying that you got to go recruit all $15 or $50? No. No, I'm not. But if you build it like you might, you'll always be doing the right thing. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, each of the next box, we just got to set the expectation for how long things take because at this point, this team is setting the pace for MWR Financial. So you got an awesome opportunity to work with somebody like Deidre Sampson and have her doing your presentations and you expose people the right way, letting them know that she is the Oprah Winfrey of income shifting. How many of you know if you put 15 people in front, five will be in. So our goal is for you to hit executive director in your first seven to 10 days. How do we do it? We schedule two private virtual Zooms for you. Now when? If you get in today, we probably think in tomorrow and the next day Absolutely. or the day after and the day after that. It doesn't take a long time using the techniques that we're going to talk about to have people have a quality exposure to what we do because they don't have to go anywhere and you don't have to clean up your house. Right. <laughs> now, the last part, it's all on you. There's one part in this business that your sponsor really cannot do for you. That's execute on the system. Everybody say execute. 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 execute, 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 execution. Execution is the most important thing that we do in this industry because it builds a testimony. Meaning, when you check off that you've uploaded your pay stubs and tax returns to Money Max, Credit Max has a credit reports, Equity Max, you've gone in, build in the whole debt free lifestyle so that you have the game plan because that's something you can do day one. Get your debt-free date and your millionaire date and make sure you calculate how much time that is. Get your consultation schedule with WealthMax once you got your cash flow statement in order and then sponsoring gets to be easy. Now, I know some people look at these five circles and say, oh, that's all I have to do. And some people say, I don't know how I'll ever find five people, but here's what I want you to understand. The magic of 50, 15, and five. Because think about this. Every time you sponsor someone in the business, I know the company minimum is three. Three people will get you to every position in our compensation plan. But I want you to have room for quitters to quit. How many of you know some people get in business to get out of business and say they tried something and it didn't work? Yep. Yep. So yep. just know All that the people, time. people aren't any different. As my partner says, people be people it. So part of what people that quit do is they quit. That's right. If, if you good. find five, it gives you enough room to weather the storm and not have your business dependent on any one individual and their decision about their business. Am I making sense? Yes. Here's what you do sure. to write your momentum bonus deadline. If you're new in the business starting today, today is October 26, 2020. October is a 31 day month. So your 30 day date <laughs> is November 25th. Mm -hmm. It's not a month, it's 30 days. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Now at the same time, if you are not new in this business but you are past your first day, you also put November 25th. We are running this 30 day game plan together. Well, the people that choose to, we're training now. But the people that choose the accountability of making money together, making wealth real with the roadmap, that's what we're gonna do. So over the course of these times, we're gonna use our virtual events and the technology to help us get to the place where, based on sorting the people that see it, you have enough people get started and enough customers for you to both qualify for the three and free, because three customers makes your membership fee waived, so that makes your 
overhead $40, but you're also at a daily guarantee of at least $150 per month. Now you're playing with house money. Am I making sense? Yeah. Yes. yes. This is how this is how you guide and focus yourself. Just know there, there's some small details for new people. Mm-hmm. I have to make sure to remind you that as you win, go and get recognized. Make sure that the small steps that you take at the beginning, we got the system in place where you can generate the best icons and graphics and just pique people's interest by seeing how you win. You read all the questions and just know that your payment is going to be split in two when it comes because people call and ask me enough times to say it comes in two parts. There's a business center and there is the financial edge. Once we get those three customers knocked out, your financial edge membership will be free. Any questions on page one? Where should page one be relative to you? In front of you. I get it on the right hand side of my desk <laughs> every day. And my goal is to fill in or check off something on that document every day. Does that make sense? Yes. Now to talk about page two, because here's the thing. The fuel for page one comes from the work that you do on page two. And I know at some points we had gotten away from making sure that everybody was actually tracking the people that came through their pipeline, knowing that everything in life is a model, yes? Yes. 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 But the way that we win on 50, 10, on 5, 15, 50, is by knocking out these 50, 15, fives. And to talk about the importance and power of accountability with tracking, is a guy that said, you know what? We keep leaving this out, but we need to make sure that it's in. And that's none other than Dr. Sean Teal. Now, not only is he somebody that fills out the sheets, but he has processes in place that watching, just watching has helped people become experts more quickly, but also made it simpler for us to do what we do while showing new people how to become experts. You get to learn just watching the thread, what he says, when he said it, and what happened next. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Talk about how we share. Y'all give it up one more time. That is none other than district director in a hundred days. That, that is. Right. Yeah, yes. That's awesome. How you guys doing? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hey guys, did my smile and little big brother Richard Harton do an amazing job of breaking down that first sheet. Yes. yes. It, 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 it makes sense when when every time either Richard or Dana Turnquist, and you'll see soon Mike Randa around. When it's time to talk about systems and, and, and organization and strategy, I just defer because these guys, not only do they do it for a living, they also do it for a lifestyle. They actually understand how people work with people. They understand how, they understand how to mute people when, when I'm talking. I got to say your name, Jazzy. But, and they also... It, it, I mean, Richard just breaks that thing down so simplistically that you just, how many guys just feel like you can do that sheet now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you if you don't feel like you can do it, wait for the recording, watch it again, pay excellent attention next time, and you'll know without a shadow of a doubt, you can fill it in. So guys, do me a favor, give a COVID clap to newly promoted executive district director about like two minutes away from $100 a day Mr. Richard Harden. Yes. Yay. Congrats. Yes. And guys, I'm just crazy excited about this part because see, uh, I'm just gonna give you a few things for your notes. I'm not gonna be long with you. I promise to uh, keep it brief, but I wanna share some things with you that if you if you just burn them into your brain, if you make them a part of your personal DNA, you can never lose in this business. Anybody want that info? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes. First thing you need to know is the law of large numbers will never fail you. Sometimes I, I hear people's frustration and they got these people in their lives called everybody and nobody. And they say stuff like, man, I, you know, I, I shared this with everybody and nobody wants to do it. And when I asked them, well, how many people is that? They say about three or four. Who are these super delegates? <laughs> that constitute everybody and nobody at the same time. Guys, understand, you have some people in your life that are very important to you and their opinions are very valuable to you. Yep. But just remember, 
if you take their opinion, if you buy that, you just bought their lifestyle. So follow them home and actually go inside the house because some people got large homes with no furniture. Spend some time with them and make sure that's what you want because if not, understand you can't buy that opinion. You need to buy the opinions of the people that have done the things that you want to do. And we will all tell you it's about numbers. People say all the time, they're like, well, Sean, you sponsored about 40 people. I wish I had your friends. I say, which ones? The, the, the 800 that didn't join? <laughs> or would you, rather have, would, would you rather have the thousand that wouldn't even open the text or even look in their inbox when I told them it was in it? Which friends you want? Mm -hmm. You can't want my friends that joined if you don't want my other ones. Is this making sense? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And, and, and we all have other ones. And so, guys, the second thing I want you to burn on your brain is what gets measured gets done. Right. See, the key, the, the reason why I love this sheet the most, and I love the first page, trust me, but I love this sheet the most is because what happens in this business is people think they're frustrated for the wrong reasons. And I say think because write this down if you're taking notes. Frustration is the distance between what you know you can do and what you're actually doing. Right. So when people tell me they're frustrated, I ask them, well, what did you do to yourself? Self-inflicted. It's always self-inflicted. Mm -hmm. Because only you know what you're truly capable of. Yes or yes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. And we're not in your house, so only you know what you're actually doing. Yes or yes? That's a yes. That's and a so yes. who caused any frustration that you have? Most likely yeah. myself. No, they is this person no. I just talked Grandkids to. sometimes, but you know. <laughs> if, if you're saying it's this person I just talked to, the issue was you weren't talking to enough people. And so now we have a way that you can track it. And this is how we use the sheet. Because we were kind of, we, we, we played with a couple of ways. And only one of them is going to serve us for what we need. It is literally written on the sheet. The 50 that we're talking about are the ones that you peaked and passed. Not the ones that you wrote down. They're the ones that you peaked and passed. Not the ones you fictitiously talked about when you were talking about everyone. See, there should be two people that know you're working. Yep. Actually, three. You, the people you peaked, and the people you passed them to. Right. Now, let me tell you what some of these senior directors are doing. I just want you to know, because some when y'all start talking about frustration, I know I know Anita's not frustrated because she passed me three today. Kurt might be a little frustrated. He passed me one, but he might be passing something to Dana. Deidre passed me one, but that one, I think that one about to join. She passed me two. I ain't get to that yet. I was busy. <laughs> George passed me eight. I just didn't write them down because he has to take them out of the inbox and get their phone numbers. I'm just, I'm just dropping clues. If they stay Wait, in the inbox, when you guys, say... if they stay in the inbox, if they stay in Facebook Messenger, they're gonna stay in Facebook Messenger. When you say passed you, what exactly are you uh, referring to? Excellent question, Dr. Courtney Skipper. What I am saying is, once you have piqued their interest, meaning <laughs> That you ask them the question. And I always teach people, you, you literally have a conversation. Please catch up on your friends and family. Please make sure they're good. Things are crazy in these streets. We, we, we got a pandemic and they're killing people just because of skin color. Out loud and not getting in trouble, that messes with people. So we can't just jump in and say, hey, Deidre, I don't have a lot of time right now. Have you ever heard of income shifting? I don't know what she's just gone through. Is this making sense to everybody? Yes. 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 But now here's what happens. While we're catching up, she's going to ask me questions. Like, how am I doing? She's going to ask me questions like, you know what? What have you been up to? Anybody ever have a friend ask them what they've been up to? Mm -hmm. Now, if you have it, here's a clue. <laughs> Maybe you should have asked them what they've been up to. Absolutely. And if you listen and listen and listen, people will get to a point where they'll get embarrassed and say, you know what, Chuck, I've been talking too much. What you been up to, bro? <laughs> Is this making sense? 
Yep. Yes. Yeah. Third thing, burn it on your brain. The person who listens the longest and asks the most questions wins. It's a combo. I have a question. With yep. our power hour, we were taught that we could start our conversation and then we just keep it a limited. Have you heard of income shift? And they could say yes, and you could say, well, we can give you some more information. But we're doing the three text things now and the three threads that we're passing and edifying our uplines. So I do both. I don't know because it, it just works for me. Right. But sometimes people are not looking in their, in their Facebook thing. So I give them a call. I'm just saying that's just me. So what's your I listen to what Mr. Longest... Chuck Harden told me and I'm listening to what also what Richard and you told me. So that's how Gwendolyn Dots is doing. Right, so that's a statement. What's your question? That's what I was just saying. I mean, so we to we've been something. told we we've been question. told we've been told not to stay on the call too long with a person. Okay, you know we can share and ask to what time you're to get on. I'm still waiting for a question. Even the internet got tired of waiting for the question. What's the question? <laughs> now, I, I guess I'll make up some questions. Here, here's one question that can come from that. When do I do which? Yeah, well, if you haven't heard from me for in forever, I shouldn't be in your power hour. I should, I should have already been in your networking so that when you know you're going to sit down with a Mr. Chuck Harden on a Monday, I know if I'm sitting down with Chuck Harden, my 20 going to be the people I already networked with so that when I get to the power hour, we already did all that catching up. Maybe you want some... Chicken and cheese. And so, and so when I no, I want some chicken, Ashley. Chicken too. And, so, and cheese. And cheese. Because <laughs> I like chicken and cheese, Ashley. Thank you. So, <laughs> but here's the thing. So, because I know I only have Mr. Harden for a very limited time. So Correct. I'm gonna catch up with my cousin and get all of them particulars out the way from Monday night after the power hour, all the way up to Monday right before the power hour. But during the power hour, that's them 20 I already been networking with. Because if we're yes. not networking, we can't market. Is that making sense? Yes, right. sir. And so that's how that works. But before you can get to that, you might want to make a friend. And I wish somebody would after I just found out blah, 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 because I ain't going to speak no, no ill on me or anybody else. But after I just found out blah, 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 if you ain't got time, you shouldn't have called me. Because I got And I got a lot of people like that in my life. So that wouldn't work for me. However, it honestly don't take a long time before they ask you what you've been up to. So yeah. if somebody asks you what somebody asks you what I've been up to. Figuring out how What's to going kids, on with you. Figuring out how to try. I'm figuring out how to teach kids from, from the comfort of my own home while they're trying to force me back into the COVID streets. And <laughs> as a matter of fact, I just started an income stream in the midst of a pandemic. By the way, have, have you ever heard of income shifting? peak. Is this making sense? Yeah. Yes. So now if you listen, if you're listening for the opportunity to listen, they'll get worn out quickly. And then they'll ask you what you've been up to. And at that point, I usually share a little bit about what I've been up to outside of this. And then I always share, I just thought, I just added an income stream as well. Have you ever heard of income shift? Now, Here's the thing. We also have online marketing that we do. Richard talked about the meme that we use. That's a way to peak. We also have text scripts. That's a way to peak. But I just strongly urge, if it's somebody you already know really well and you haven't caught up with them, catch up with them first. It doesn't take long. I do, and this is something we, had, we discussed as well as a leadership team, Guys, you can't rely 100% on posting on Facebook. You are not getting a district on Facebook. I'm just saying. You, you have I to pick up the phone. Pick up, I, well, I don't pick up, I, I pick up the phone long enough to text 10 people every morning. I, I, you know, everybody does things differently. I text 10 people a day. At the end of the week, I've texted 70 people. I got 70 conversations going on. You think somebody gonna ask me what I've been up to? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I mean, yes, out of seven people, you think somebody might be, you know, just a little bit interested enough in me <laughs> to ask me what I've been doing lately? 
Not really. Yep. And so here's the thing: when they ask me how you been holding up, somebody asked me how I've been holding up, or some, or one of them other broke things. Been holding people. up. I even, what you been up to? You been holding I've, up. I've been excellent in the midst of this pandemic. I have figured out some ridiculous things in the midst of America KKK. That's, <laughs> that's how I type it. I like that. I like that. I mean, it's my truth. I, I've actually figured out how to get excited in the midst of everything going on in this crazy place. How have you been in all this craziness? That's one of Yolanda DuPont's favorite questions. One of my favorite questions too now, because people will tell you how they've been and they appreciate that you asked. And then, and only then, when you are about to get off the phone, which can be as quickly as you want it to be. By the way, been meaning to ask you, Liza, have you ever heard of income shift? Is this making sense? Yeah. yeah. So that's the peak. Now, Doc, getting to your question, once you accomplish this and they say no, that's not the opportunity to start telling them about it. Put this in your notes. Don't give somebody a drink of water with a fire hose. Can't lead a horse to water and then make them drink. But I always look for thirsty horses. That's mm -hmm. right. You find thirsty horses, you ain't got to lead them, you ain't got to make them. They see water, they'll knock you over. Right. Okay. Right. That's you can lead them there, but you can't make them drink. Yeah. You've been too busy. I don't even talk about the horses that I can't make drink. <laughs> I only, matter of fact, that's my fifth tip. Guys, here's what's gonna hold you back. I'm almost done, Richard, trust me. But here's what's going. but we had, we had to have this, you, we had a 20 minute conversation on recording, but we had to have a 25 minute conversation before that recording. Because here's what we've been noticing with this 50 15 five. The difference between the people that are winning and everyone else is we said if you peak 50 and pass them, at least 15 will get on a presentation and five will join. Everybody's heard that. If you haven't heard it, how many of you guys just heard it? I just heard, I heard it. it. Anybody want to know the difference between winning fast and losing fast? Yes. Okay, uh, anybody want to know? Yeah. Want to yeah. know? 11, 20, yeah. 15. The 11, 20, 15. The, that's not the difference. The difference, Tamika, <laughs> is the losers want to talk about the 45 while the winners only talk about the five. Mm -hmm. Hey, we have pity parties and rep luncheons and rep conferences. And we all we want to talk about is everybody who wouldn't do it, who didn't do it, who didn't show up, who said they were logging into the Zoom and never got in the Zoom. And then when I called them, their number was cut off. And we, we right, <laughs> put this in your notes, guys. Put this in your notes. Whatever we focus on, expands. Whatever we focus on, expands. So if my focus is always on who didn't, what am I going to attract to myself? People who don't. More people who don't. But if my focus is on the five that did, what do I attract? More who five did. that did. Guys, I promise you, I know it sounds corny, but I don't have to go through 50 to get the five anymore. Because I right. started off looking for the five. So now I'm speaking to the five, not the 45. If you're not careful, you're going to sound like, Chuck, I know you don't want to do this, but they told me I had to ask you. Um, you probably don't even like stuff that even rhyme with this, but um, you ever heard of income shifting? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't think you sound like that, but because that's what's in here, guys, they taught me garbage in, garbage out. Good stuff in, good stuff good out. Stuff out, yeah. Mm -hmm. They taught us that. And it's real for the rest of your life. And so you have to watch what you, if you have no expectation of me, I'm going to live up or down to your expectation. Right. If you expect me to stand you up, I will, your wish is my command. <laughs> if you expect me to join, I am very, very interested in doing what you expected. This makes sense? Yeah. Right. Manifest it, brother. So with that being said, guys, what makes this work is three-way conversation. Doc, this is the part you were asking about. It's a triangle. So you got to understand between you and your friends and family, there's trust. This is phase three, by the way. Yeah, sir. But there's zero respect for your this business opinion because they don't know you in this business. This makes sense? Yeah. Some of you guys have been excellent most of your life at what you do, 
but they still don't know you as this. If you showed up one day in football equipment, they'd be like, what you doing, doc? <laughs> <laughs> you a surgeon. You ain't got to go out to hit nobody. <laughs> so what you got to understand is when you show up talking about being in business for yourself, if you've never done it, or if you've never done it successfully, that might be, that might have you uh, responded to a little differently. So what you want to do is you want to edify an expert so that you can generate respect between you and your expert. Is this making sense to everybody? Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Trust plus edification equals respect. Now here's what the expert does immediately. When they get the opportunity, they also edify you and return right. some of that respect to you. Right. Does this make sense? Yeah. Yes. But if you don't go in that order and you, the, the moment you decide to be the deal, you better be the deal. <laughs> in other words, help me help you. Exactly. <laughs> you got to act like a quarterback. Quarterback yeah. hold the ball too long. That goes, that never goes well. Right. You are the quarterback. Your, your responsibility is to either hand off or pass. That's what you do. So you've just been anointed for the first time in your life. You are the quarterback of your team, but you keep holding the ball. You're going to get sacked a lot. Big right. dude's coming through. Uh, and you're going to be through. in the locker room with the rest of the hurt quarterbacks talking about yeah. how they hurt you. Where that train come from? <laughs> right. <laughs> Nobody blocking for me. No, get rid of the ball. Get rid of the ball. We can't help you if you're holding the ball. And so with that being said, the reason, the reason why you do it, guys, the hardest part of this thing is getting people to see it. Once you get them to see it, it's over. But you don't have to be the one to get them to see it. There's a series of text scripts that you'll see somewhere that Richard puts them because, you know, he was he was uh, assigned to do that somehow because he's the technical one of the three. <laughs> hey, Rich. And so, and so it, I mean, everybody already has it uh, that were in before. It should have already been shared with everybody who's in now. That's the other thing I, I definitely want us to, to touch on. This is meant to be learned, done, How you do it. and immediately taught at the same time. Here's what I mean. Nobody, if, if you truly done money, Max, nobody should have to go to your upline. Oh, protect, protect that, bro. What's up? I'm feeling good, Sam. I'm feeling real good, bro. Thanks for asking. Nobody should have to go to Chuck Harden because he sponsored you or because he's your upline district for him to show them money max if you did money max does that make sense right how many yeah. guys yeah. know how to how many guys know how to show somebody how to do money max because you did it yes yes how many guys can show some and so as soon as you do this and you sponsor somebody truly be their sponsor now we're going to get to them too. Your seniors are going to call. Your areas are going to call. Your, but guys, whose business is it? Yours. It's yours. Sure. If you got to at least feel like you can take out a piece of paper and read it through and show somebody what you do. Guys, we play a game called show, then tell. tell. Yep. <laughs> it ain't show and tell. It's show, then tell. Oh, you show. show them you do it. You do it. It's not you go do it. It's let's go do it. Even if y'all get started the same day, your race should be, I'm going to get it done so I can show you that I did it. Even if you just signed up and you signed somebody up just now, your race should be, I'm going to show you how I did it. I knew I was going to, I knew we were going to actually put this sheet out there on a Sunday. So what I do, like bright and early Sunday morning, I sponsor two people. <laughs> Sometimes I cheat. But guys, the gist of this sheet is self-explanatory. People have different personality types. I'm just going to say you use the text strips, the scripts that we have in text form. You either text it to them or read it to them, but lean not on your own language until your language is dope too. All right. it's, not a, it's not in the Bible. Don't look it up. But lean not <laughs> on your own language until your, until your language is making you money. Let's just stop. Stop. Right. <laughs> and so with that, because I get, you know, and the reason I'm at, the reason I'm, I'm answering a lot of questions because I get asked a lot of questions. Yep. And so I'm attempting to answer them like right now. Oh. Most of the questions that you have will be cleared up if you simply do this this way 
while using the scripts that you've been given from Richard Harden, Chuck Harden, or myself, or your areas that are working with us. I think that's the best way that I can put it. Richard, I hope I answered the questions you needed me to answer. And for the last two pages, I'm going to turn it back to you, bro. All right. Well, that gives us perfect timing because y'all got to give it up. See, you got to understand that as the system improves, what enhancements just happen for everybody? Because let me, let me let, let's break this down. So before I point them out, y'all give it up for Shanti Hill for both understanding, analyzing, and making it easy to improve. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because all you, you got right now, if you've seen anybody knock themselves out of the business because of everybody and nobody, say I. Mm -hmm. I. <laughs> they have fallen yeah. victim to the super delegate. But what happens when you just jog your memory and you find five friends, five college classmates, five parents of your children, <laughs> <laughs> 10, group, 10 groups of five people, 50 people, you can't go through 50 people and not hit five. What I found out, Sean, I can't go through 25 and not get five. But it's the accountability of writing it down because in my phone, there's a couple of thousand people. On Facebook, it's close to 5,000. I can't see them to be focused. Does that make sense? Yeah. But by having it on the paper, and making sure our job is to do both things, pique their interest, but pass them to an expert, we lower the failure curve for new people. Write that down. How many of you had some new people that didn't know what to say? And therefore they didn't say anything. But if we're able to equip them with exactly these words, copy these words, paste these words, and you get a reliable response, but you also get expert help up front during the hardest part. If the hardest part, in the system is getting people to see it, why not get an expert to help? Does that make sense? And the triangle, the triangle, let's talk about edification only briefly, because here's the importance of edification. It just gives people something to look at other than you. Does that make sense? Now, am I saying that you're not good yes. to look at? No, I, we got some of the most beautiful people in the world in this business, for real. And I mean beautiful inside and out. So I'm not just saying that because you're on Zoom, but I'm saying real talk. You're the kind of people people want to be around, but they don't know you as an expert on income shifting. So what do you do? Introduce them to one. Now in the triangle, I won't go through edification because we got a presentation on this Zoom. Yeah, we got time. We got a presentation on this Zoom in like five minutes. <laughs> people will start showing up for the seven o'clock because we can just go ahead and announce that the Zoom is open now. But here's, here's a reality. For your friends and family members, we got to respect our position. Meaning, if there's somebody that's in your phone, they already talk to you. They know you. They trust you. They, but they don't necessarily value your business opinion. Yes or yes? Yes. So what we do, we edify an expert just so that they have something to look up to so they can see over their day-to-day -day existence. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And that builds respect so that your expert can move them to action. Let me tell you something. Dr. Hill can put some people in your business. Mr. Harden can really put some people in your business. But Chuck and Sean, you know, they all right. Does that make sense? Yeah. And here are the things that we want to focus on with our language. So the words are here, not so that you necessarily copy and paste them, but think about what we say that's different than what you might say. You ever heard of income shifting? Cash flow expansion? Rules of the wealthy? Oh, write this down. Losing money. Here's what I found. People are more impressed by the idea that I was losing $1,200 a month to the IRS than the idea that I'm, I make just about $6,000 a month. And that's just human nature. People are more impressed by what they stand to lose than what they stand to gain. So as you're inviting, if you invite people to get their money back from taxes, their money back from the IRS, I mean, from the IRS, from the banks, from big business, nobody wants to lose money. There's only so-so about making new money. Am I making sense? 
Yes. Yes. Build that, you know, the, I put some sample edifications into the messenger group. We'll do the same thing today just so people have a reference to go back to so that you've got a cut and paste library. When the prospect says this or does this, you do that. But that way you get to see inside the mind of the experts that you're working with versus trying to figure it out on your own. Does that make sense? Yes. And then we can all hold each other accountable because we can look down this list and see who's on here that got passed that didn't make it to a presentation or from a presentation didn't give follow up so that we can work together more seamlessly. Making sense? Yeah. Yeah. And then the last part, here, here's the fun thing about edification. If you ever noticed that if any of you ever introduce or edify me, I will edify you right back with everything I know about you, yes. even if you're new. Because edification is not meant to be caught, it's meant to be passed. But now once you've edified Dr. Hill as an expert and he comes back and says good things about you, now your prospects get permission to look at you differently. See, before that was Chantel, but now that's Mrs. Jones. Ms. Jones got promoted to executive in less than a week in business and is about to help someone in our family do the same thing. They look at Chantel and say, I didn't know all that, Chantel. Come on now. So understand, edification and the formulas for it. If we get to be the team that talks the best about people, do you know that edification actually builds your self-esteem at the same time that it builds your business? Yes. Yes. I mean, just, just watch yourself. If you catch yourself outside just saying good things to other people about them and them smiling for no reason, just get good at this, knowing that the combination of how the personality types interact and the words at work are built into the script. So all you have to do is have a good one and you can apply it across. Because imagine this, imagine if I told you, hey man, listen, you gotta meet my friend Bruce Lynch. Man, he is <laughs> to cash flow an extra five to seven figures. He's already helping tons of people earn double digit returns on their investments. And the best thing is that he can answer all the questions about income shifting in a way that makes sense to every to the average person. He's like, he's like, he's like the Tom Hanks of our group. <laughs> He'll help the people <laughs> get money back from the big three. Does that make sense? How many of you want to talk to Bruce Lynch after that introduction? Yes. <laughs> if you get good at talking well about a person, a place, or a thing, using the words at work, you don't have to make them up. They're written right there. Same with in with enthusiasm and your eyebrows up and people would be excited to meet the people you know. And once they meet the people you know, we're gonna share common sense and they'll be ready to go. And the last page, the last page is the most important thing. This is something that I've realized, Sean, Chuck, Dr. Hill, Mr. Harden, is we are right now in the midst of preparing the next wave of experts. Meaning 2020, like this this last season, y'all got to think about where we are in the year. It's gonna be not, it's gonna be November in ten minutes, right? <clears throat> ten minutes from now to be November. Days are gonna get shorter. The company is going to have a demand for more and more people who can share the information with confidence and power. So that last sheet in the document is the four three two one worksheet. How many of you seen this document presented or seen it in person? Printed it out. Yes. 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 This is what this is what I know. I learned how to do the presentation watching people do the presentation. I take notes on what they said and what they did. The four three two one is a cheat sheet for us, but it's also educational for your prospects. It teaches them the strategy. But if you get good at knowing where the transitions are, you can apply your personality to the outline. And for the person that you sponsor, because think about this: by the time you and your three. Sponsor three, you and five times 25, you got to get up and present. So those conversations are worth $95 an hour to you. <laughs> and you can't be asking when the next Zoom is, is when are you doing the next Zoom? Well, yes. Yeah. Does that make sense? So rather than me walking through it, I'm going to walk through it again here in, in 10 minutes. Let's take a break. And for those of you that are using my seven o'clock Zoom along with Kanaya Harper, I will see you at seven. Let's let, let, let me pause for a second and ask you that. Oh, I left out the reference sheet, not because the reference sheet isn't important, but make sure you bookmark those sites so that you know where to go to get stuff. Make sure that you're plugged into our YouTube channels, to the EDM Extra Digit Facebook group, 
all of those things so that you have access to new information every day. One of the things I try to do every day is listen back to somebody else doing a presentation to see what thing they did, how I could hear it or perceive it different, but to start my day with something positive and focused on what I'm going to be doing so that I can start, share, and stay and do it better today. Does that make sense? Yes. So with that being said, any questions, any questions, I'm going to end the recording so you don't have to be embarrassed if you have a question you don't want recorded. Oh, 